only dude here so i have a little bit of a lighting problem on the uh the old sonoma so i'm out here i bought some led lights off of the old uh jungle website and uh trying to see if i can get these in here but i gotta get the old ones out so right now that's what i'm working on trying to get these things uh taken out here's what i got going on all right so one of these lights is working okay this one you see is really got a lot of moisture in it <clears throat> it's one of them's really dim and one of them just isn't working at all and this is an old halogen lights so i got some leds that I want to swap out, like I said, and but I got to get these screws that are way back up in here, all up inside there. There's one over there. Uh, there's one back in there. I think there's two down here. <clears throat> and then see if I can somehow pop that out of there. So that's what I'm working on. But I needed a headlamp so that I could see what I was doing. So I'm going to set up here and uh, see if I can get this uh, taken apart. Let's see a little better. Feeling that, it's just just can use this. things are not easy to take apart. How oh, in the sand blazes do you get these out of here without having to take the whole tr truck apart now? So these two points, is that it? Just those two points? That's what it looks like. I don't even know. Well, okay. That's just, that's just great. Mm -hmm. This one's a little easier to get to. Maybe we start here. Figure out, because there's two, there's to me like two screws. One here, this is all smashed. One here, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's turn it. stripped out too. Wow. These things are just bad. Holy moly. Wow. At this point in time, it doesn't look like I'm going to get these out of here tonight. I might need to just leave it just the way it is. Because I'm going to need some hardware. I'm gonna have to get in here and take this this off somehow. It takes an Allen. I think the grill's gonna have to come off. So yeah, not gonna happen today. Yeah, that's not even turning. That hardware is totally shot. All that hardware is. Mm-hmm. All right, so these are the uh, LED lights that I got on the Amazon Jungle website. So they don't have any frame or anything, but I assume the old lamp comes out and this would slide in there. But it's got this long cord. And on this other side over here, let me bring you in here. All right, so on here on the inside, set this aside, you'll see the plug is here and it just comes out just like that. So I don't know why I can take the plug from that, just plug it in here, and at least test it out. So let's try that out. Let's see if this works. Just 
plugging this in like this. I'll have it. Should have to have an adapter or anything. I don't think so. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's all we need. Woo! Jeez. So, I wonder if I could just get the other one. Man, that one's messed up. What did they do to this? I think it's all smashed in, like all the knobs are individual. Great! I wanted to bring you in and show you what's going on here. Let me set this light down. So, I gotta be careful with this battery. I don't want to touch anything. But, I don't know if you can see it or not. Ugh, get the light in the right spot. See the plug? It's broke. And like, all three pieces, they're just kind of attached. So, I'm gonna try to pull those off and just plug them in to that and just see if we get complete light so let me try that honestly you should probably just do this battery but I don't really want to do that I don't have to set this light right there this is this is pretty bad these wires are they're just in there wow okay alright it's in there to be able to test it at least There you go. That's better. We have definitely confirmed that these lights will work. They're plug and play. So don't have to do that. But now it's a matter of getting the hardware, getting the old stuff off, and getting the new one in. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to take this grill off and get some new hardware for it because it's it is shocked. No good. All right. Yep, so we got lights back. Well, now we got no power over here. Well, that's great. Where's my flashlight at? There it goes. It's just really loose. Probably, probably not going to stay on, but at least it's a headlight so dim I literally have to uh, keep the high beams on here check it out you see see how that left is so dim there's the high beam low high well, that's gonna be it for now until I can get the hardware for these like I said I'm gonna have to take this grill I think completely off that one's cracked and uh, get these lights off of here so We'll, uh, we'll work on that on a on another day. It's getting dark right now, and uh, Haley's fiance Abrams here, and he needs to go pick her up from work here in a little bit. So, yeah, we'll just leave it go for now. It's we've been driving it this way for six months. <laughs> What's another couple weeks, right? Again, you're probably thinking, why in the world? Would you put LED lights on a piece of junk like this? Why not just swap them out with the easy, cheap old lights? But did you know that these lights right here cost, still cost you about, about uh, 20, 25 bucks? Those sets of LEDs on the uh, Jungle website were only like, it was less than 50 bucks. It's $45. I got Prime, so I didn't pay for shipping. So these are more expensive. And they don't even last as long. So, there you go. Take it for what it is. Okay, well, we'll come back on here next time and uh, we'll take a look at it and we'll, we'll finish this project up. So, it's been months since I originally started this video. Was going to change the lights on the front end of this truck and never got back to doing it. Had to buy some new hardware to be able to make it happen. Well, now the gas tank is leaking even worse, so I have decided that I am just gonna get rid of the truck. It's really rusted out. 
the lights still haven't been replaced this one works okay but or no this one's the one that doesn't work or it's very dim high beams won't work that one works okay but it only works on high beams so i posted on marketplace and i've got a guy who's supposed to come and get it today sold it for like a thousand bucks i'm really sad to let it go but i just don't have the time to do anything with it we're putting the house on the market here soon so just want to get out from underneath this but i'm gonna leave the sticker on there i'll let him deal with that but it's been a good truck had it for a couple years he's gonna fix it up uh he's got a whole nother bed to put on there and also has uh some other parts to make it work it's got the four three so he's excited about that uh, we did get this in its place and it's been a good car. We've had a couple issues with it. And you, if you haven't seen that video, you can go back and see the issues I had with it. But Haley's been driving that instead. Decided now that I'm just gonna help Madison find something else. So I'll probably end up just keeping this and driving this around. It gets good gas mileage. And when I have to drive separately to the school on Tuesdays and Fridays, this gets better gas mileage. So this is it. This is the end of an era for this truck behind me. So hate to see it go, but it's time to move on. So this concludes this video. I thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Also hit the bell icon so you're notified of new content as I upload it. Hit the like button, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything, just hit it. It helps the algorithm, draws people to the channel to, to watch it and uh we'll continue to grow i keep gaining about one or two subscribers a week so hopefully soon we're going to end up doing a contest giving away a t-shirt or a hat here pretty soon so be looking for that we have to hit 600 subscribers in order to make that happen so we're very very close we're at 583 as of today so i anticipate probably in another month or so that contest will be coming down so look for that again thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one